Health. We're joined by General Manager John Robinson. John, thanks as always for taking time. Yeah, good to be with you guys, Mike. All right, let's talk about your opponent this week, the Steelers, giving up 66 yards per game rushing. Why have the Steelers been so good against the run? Well, they got dudes, Mike. I mean, it's a formidable front. I mean, you go across the entire uh, front seven, uh, whether it's Dupree, Watt, Tuitt, Alou Alou, Hayward, Vince Williams. I mean, these guys, they're, they're big, they're strong. They play with good technique. Uh, they're going to blitz you. You know, they're, they're going to send pressure, try to get you second and third and long situations. But they're good players. It's going to be a tall task for us. 24 sacks for the Steelers defense. Who really leads that pass rush? Yeah, again, pick a winner up front. You know, it starts, uh, Dupree is, is fast off the edge. Watts fast off the edge. They got a great combination of moves. They've got speed to dip and lean around you. Uh, they can convert that speed rush to power. Hayward and Tuitt on the inside. You know, both of those guys are long, they're strong, they get their hands up, and they've been playing together for a while. You know, so in those, those twist games, those pass rush games, they have a really good feel for each other uh, and what to anticipate when the ball snaps. So it's typical Steelers, it's everybody. Exactly. Let's move to offense and let's talk about the run game. The Steelers have that going again, rushing for 137 yards per game, led by James Conner. Yeah, I mean, they got a top 10 rushing attack. They got a big O-line uh, up front. Their receivers do a really good job blocking support. But Conner, you know, he, he's a big back with, with quickness, got loose hips. He's a really patient back. Uh, he lets his blocks develop. He's got an excellent vision to see where he's supposed to run. He anticipates things well. Um, he takes care of the football. And, you know, he didn't time real fast in the 40 at the combine. But as we all know, none of that really matters, you know, once you put the helmet on. Because uh, he's got speed. He's got burst in the open field to go to distance. How have the Steelers improved their receiving core as a whole since the last time the Titans faced Pittsburgh? Yeah, I mean, I think, well, Big Ben being back, that, that certainly helps. Coach Tomlin and Kevin, they've done a great job uh, historically with that position group over the years, and, and it's no different now. You know, they've got uh, Juju is back. He plays inside, he plays outside. He's an excellent runner. He's a great run after the catch player. They've got a speedy you know, run after the catch player in Deontay Johnson. Washington out of Oklahoma State, he's been in the league, been up there for a couple years. He's an excellent vertical threat. And then the rookie Claypool is off to a fast start. We like him coming out of the drafts as well. A big, fast, strong hands, good with the ball in his hands. And they added Ebron, pass catching tight end, who, who we're familiar with when his time at Indy in free agency. You know, you got all of those weapons coupled with a future Hall of Fame quarterback. Um, it's a challenge. 